Arthritis is a term often used to describe any disorder that affects the joints. Symptoms generally include joint pain and stiffness. Other symptoms might be redness, warmth, swelling and a decreased range of motion in the affected joints. Some types of arthritis can also affect other organs in the body. There are over 100 types of arthritis, with osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis being the most common. Osteoarthritis is related to age and wear and tear on the joints, while rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disorder. At its core, arthritis is about inflammation in the joints. In osteoarthritis, the cartilage, the cushioning between bones wears away, causing pain, swelling and stiffness. In rheumatoid arthritis, the body's immune system attacks the lining of the joint capsule, a tough membrane that encloses all the joint parts. This lining becomes inflamed and swollen over time. The inflammation can damage the cartilage and bone inside the joint. Sadly, there's no known cure for arthritis. Treatment options vary based on the type of arthritis and can include physical therapy, exercise, orthopedic bracing, medication, and most importantly, diet. Today we will talk about the kinds of foods that can flare up the symptoms and explain why you should avoid them. We are basically what we eat. Studies have shown that many have cured themselves holistically just by following the right diet. Here are the seven worst foods for arthritis. It's important to remember that this video is for learning purposes and if your symptoms are alarming and urgent, it's a good idea to talk to your doctor. One, added sugars. Added sugars refer to sugars and syrups that are added to foods and drinks during processing or preparation. They are different from naturally occurring sugars found in fruits, vegetables and dairy products. Common sources of added sugars include sodas, candies, baked goods and many processed foods. When we eat too much added sugar, it can lead to a few things that might make arthritis worse. Inflammation. Too much sugar can cause our bodies to have more inflammation. Inflammation is like the body's response to something harmful, like an injury or infection, but too much inflammation can be bad for our joints and make arthritis pain worse. Weight gain. Sugary foods and drinks are often high in calories. Eating too many of these can lead to gaining extra weight. Carrying around extra weight puts more stress on our joints, especially the ones in our legs, hips and spine. This can make arthritis pain and discomfort even more noticeable. Joint damage. Some studies suggest that high sugar intake might affect the proteins that help keep our joints strong. When these proteins get damaged, it can make our joints weaker and more prone to arthritis. Number 2. High salt foods. High salt foods are foods that contain a significant amount of salt or sodium. Salt is commonly used to enhance flavor and preserve foods. However, consuming too much salt can have negative effects on our health, including its potential impact on arthritis. Some forms of arthritis, such as rheumatoid arthritis, are autoimmune diseases. This means that the immune system mistakenly attacks healthy tissues, including joints. High salt intake might exacerbate this immune response, making autoimmune arthritis symptoms more severe. Too much salt can interfere with the balance of calcium in the body. Calcium is important for maintaining strong bones and preventing bone loss. In people with arthritis, maintaining bone health is crucial to avoid further joint problems. High salt intake can lead to higher levels of calcium excretion through urine, potentially weakening bones over time. Number 3. Nightshades. Nightshades are a group of plants that belong to the Solanaceae family. Some people believe that certain compounds found in nightshades may exacerbate arthritis symptoms particularly in individuals with inflammatory types of arthritis. However, the scientific evidence for this connection is not well established and varies among individuals. Examples of nightshade vegetables are tomatoes, potatoes, eggplants and peppers. The scientific hypothesis behind the potential connection between nightshades and arthritis is related to a group of compounds called alkaloids. Alkaloids found in nightshades might interact with the immune system and trigger inflammation in some people. Nightshade vegetables contain compounds called lectins, which are proteins that can interact with immune cells and potentially influence inflammation. Number 4. Alcohol. Experts agree that consuming too much alcohol increases inflammation and health risks. Drinking too much alcohol can cause more inflammation in your body and this extra inflammation might make your arthritis pain worse. 
Alcohol can also make you feel thirsty and lead to dehydration, which means your body doesn't have enough water. Dehydration can make your joints feel stiffer and more painful, especially if you already have arthritis. If you're taking medicines to manage your arthritis, alcohol might interfere with how those medicines work. This can affect how well your arthritis is controlled and how you feel. Excessive alcohol consumption can affect your bones and that's not good for arthritis. Number 5. Foods high in purines. When you eat foods high in purines, your body breaks down these purines into uric acid. Some of the foods high in purines are organ meats like liver and kidneys. Certain seafood like anchovies, sardines and mackerel, as well as red meat. Game meats from wild animals like venison can be high in purines. Some vegetables like spinach, asparagus and cauliflower have moderate levels of purines. In most people, the body gets rid of excess uric acid through the kidneys and it doesn't cause problems. However, in some individuals, the body might produce too much uric acid or not get rid of it effectively. When there's too much uric acid in the blood, it can form crystals that can get deposited in your joints, causing inflammation and pain. This condition is called gout and it's a type of arthritis. Number 6. Advanced Glycation End Products AGIs when we barbecue meat, it can create a lot of AGRs. These can find their way into our bodies when we eat the meat. Fried foods like French fries, chicken nuggets and other fried foods can have high levels of AGEs because of the cooking process. Processed foods like cookies, cakes and snacks that have a lot of added sugar can also contribute to more AGEs forming in our bodies. AGEs can cause trouble for people with arthritis. They can make our joints stiffer and more painful. This happens because AGS can make the tissues in our joints less flexible. This stiffness and lack of flexibility can make moving our joints harder and more uncomfortable. So try to avoid these foods by any means. Number 7. Red meat. Arthritis is often characterized by inflammation, a process where the body's immune system reacts against its own tissues, leading to pain and swelling. Red meat contains compounds that can induce inflammation. One such compound is arachidonic acid, which is a precursor to inflammation-promoting molecules called prostaglandins. The consumption of red meat can elevate the levels of arachidonic acid in the body, potentially aggravating the inflammatory responses associated with arthritis. Red meat contains high levels of purines, which are broken down into uric acid in the body. Elevated uric acid levels can lead to the formation of urate crystals in joints, causing intense pain and inflammation associated with gout. Now that we've talked about what not to eat, let's discuss the foods we can eat or should eat if we have arthritis. 1. Anti-inflammatory fats. Good fats, such as those found in olive oil, avocado oil, and oils from nuts and seeds, can help fight inflammation. 2. Fishy fats. Oily fish like salmon, sardines, and herring contain special fats called omega-3 fatty acids, which can fight inflammation. It's recommended to eat these fish at least two times a week. If you're not into fish, you can also get omega-3s from walnuts, flax seeds and their oils. 4. Fruits and vegetables. Eating lots of plant-based foods like fruits and veggies can help alleviate arthritis symptoms. These foods fight inflammation in the body. If you find this video informative, share it with your friends and family. See you in another video with some more information. Until then, take care.